It was the 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 personality of Seville and the character of Seville. Is it? Do you maintain the same idea? I'm uh, ahead of the biggest team in 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 Europe. Yes, I think I'll stick to the same idea. You know, changing the way we play in two days. And before playing the best team in Europe, like you said, it will be a huge change to our to our plans, to our idea, to our ideas, to have an identity as a team and maintain it on the pitch, and be brave enough to try and maintain what what we want to do. If we change anything, you know, it would be only normal to 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 do worse than we could do. What is your feeling ahead of the game tomorrow? Uh, do you have the uh, similar feeling to to how you felt before the the the, the Roma final in Inter? Uh, the sorry, the Roma final in Budapest. Well, this is uh, we just started. The uh, you know everything is unfinished. Our squad, everything. So it is slightly we we are here slightly let's say in balance because everything is kind of uh, starting, but our character is not going to change and it's going to be similar to the team that played the, those such important that such important games that we played at the end of last season, like the final you refer to. So f despite the fact that everything is kind of halfway our squad if you like the team has not changed too much so i think that in that respect the feeling is going to be very similar to 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 the end of last season i think you look pretty relaxed with your player smiling etc are you not affected by the preparation or this pre-season uh, movements and to the point that uh, the market is not closed and even Bono could leave today, it could be sold today. Uh, do you think that you could not count with any of your players? Or that would be impossible? No, that would be impossible. The problem is not ours. The problem is with the people who organize all these things. And if you start competitions without the closing of the market and when the teams are not entirely finished, well, nobody can understand that, and, you know, to start competitions and to start the competition and that there could still be uh, players that are be transferring and we can play for three, four weeks in these conditions. This It is what it is. We need to play this final in these conditions and well, and, and, and that's that's it, you know. But I, I, I can't understand how the people who organize these competitions don't really understand this, you know, this possibility of transferring players even after the season has started and, and to have to see players who are with us today and with our rival team tomorrow, you know. So it is what it is. We need to do what we need to do. And, and all we need to do is to prepare for the game and to play the game. And that's what we will do. My colleague was asking about how is it, how can it affect you? Do you think it could affect footballers because they're human beings? You know, Acuna, for example, could could end up going to Aston Villa. Do you fear that the player could be affected by that possibility, or have you spoken to the players in order to say, to ask them if you can count on them a hundred percent? Well, I don't need to talk about that to them. You know, it's depending on their idea and how they are feeling. You know, I'm sure that th they are very excited about this final. I don't think they are thinking about the, the a potential contract for the future. My players are focused in the game tomorrow. They want to play. I don't know what they want to do after tomorrow. Maybe they want to go somewhere else, but they want to play tomorrow. So we will make the most of that, at least. <laughs> I don't know if you're a fan of statistics and if you check them or not. Six Super Cups, Sevilla only played once. They played four times against Man City and then and they and they lost. And he, Haaland scored Haaland scored eight goals against Sevilla and you played eight times against uh, Guardiola and he inflicted the worst defeat of your career. And you played uh, eight nil. So, 
I don't know because some some coaches play pay a lot of attention to statistics. Well, you don't know me. That means you don't know me because I don't check data in all respects, uh, statistics. I'm aware of all of that, but I don't think about that. It's one game. It's tomorrow. And it's got nothing to do with everything that happened uh, in the past or all the players that I've have. I've coached in my career, etc. has nothing to do with that. You know, the teams I was in and the teams Guardiola was in, it's a final. You know, we've never played a final up until now. And then it, the fact is that we are here. The fact is that we are playing them tomorrow and we're looking forward to play them tomorrow. And I think we are ready to, to beat them tomorrow. So I'm convinced that we are going to be audacious tomorrow. That doesn't mean that we're going to win, of course, but we are going to be brave. We're going to try and play our football tomorrow. And in that respect, I think we're going, we're going to try and complicate their lives tomorrow. And from then on, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm sure that statistics against Arsenal and City and Guardiola were, uh, you know, with, with bet were better and were in favour of City and they lost against Arsenal not too long ago. So, uh, at a motivational or psychological level, what's the argument from the coach to the players? What does Mendy Libra say to you, to his players in order to, to know that they, he can beat, they can beat their rivals? These kind of games are very easy for the coach. You don't need to to a lot of pep talking for your players. You know, and like I said a minute ago, next in a couple of days they could be in our rival team. But today they're only thinking about our game tomorrow. You know, if it was any other league game. You know, maybe the, I could, I would need some extra motivation to tell them that it's very important. But a game like this, a final, I'm really, uh, don't, I'm not worried in the slightest because of this. Because I know all my players are going to be 100% focused on the game and they're going to give it all. I'm convinced of that fact. I wanted to say that, well, Guardiola mentioned, uh, talked about injuries and how little time they had to prepare for these games. You mentioned that the market was still open and you're already competing, etc. I don't know if you fear anything about your players, potential cruciate -like ligament injuries, etc. You know, I don't know if... if if you fear some of their very creative players, because some of them are not going to be present there tomorrow, like De Bruyne or Gundogan, etc. Well, you're thinking about, you're mentioning City's uh, injury problems, you know. Uh, on the, the, the goalkeeper, defence, for example, in defence they have 500 million euro of players in defence. You know, uh, so I don't think they're going to be complaining about uh, injury problems, for example. They can complain about a very tough schedule, uh, many games, etc. But football people shouldn't complain too much because people say that's why you get a lot of money, etc. And you should maybe put your head down and accept everything that comes. But like I said, you know, starting a competition when the market is still open, etc., you know, it's not really on, and I don't think really understand these things. Uh, you know, and the, the market was closed in September because the season started after the closing of the market. Now the season starts before the end of the market, and we cannot do anything about it. We don't give, we don't have a vote, or we have, don't have a saying in that respect. But the people who direct all this will be in the offices they will be thinking about this and well it is what it is and and we gotta adapt to it and that's it you're playing one of the best teams in the world tomorrow a various offensive game that looks for possession etc how are you going to face it, them tomorrow especially thinking that you might be able to you might be playing a lot uh, spending a lot of time without the ball <laughs> Well, they are offensive, but not only because they have the ball, it's because they want to keep the possession in order to score. Some play, some play, some teams could play wide, but they play directly and they want, they want to score goals. It could be that it's the best team in Europe right now, but uh, they have already, they have also lost games and they have struggled in some games 
and we need to be brave because we want to be we don't want to be near our goal the whole time we would like to get closer to their goal to their area to the penalty area etc and in order to do that we need to uh, steal the you know regain possession and keep it as far as from from our goal as possible they're going to make things complicated of course but uh it's going to be a game in which you know for, for it's going to be a very long 90 minutes for both teams i'm sure but we need to be mentally strong specifically because i'm convinced that physically we will be more or less there but mentally we need to be very strong in order to be able to take anything that comes at us and be patient enough in order to for example keep the ball if we if we have it and try and score and try to create chances and uh and we cannot be only be looking at at their possession we try to hurt them when we when we regain possession tomorrow city uh, is going to miss some players <clears throat> And quite often, fans and, and and journalists say that when a, a powerful team, a powerful team lacks some of their top players, may they may say, "Oh, it's a good chance for them to beat them." Blah blah blah. Would you think it's a mistake to assume that since some of the big top names there are missing, that the the rival is not going to function properly? Yes, of course, it's true. Like since we normally talk about big teams, we sometimes miss big team, big players in big teams. We don't normally look at the small players, you know. Uh, maybe if a small team lacks an important player, they're going to resent it more than big clubs, you know. So you know how you should you are playing you. you you cannot miss anyone. You have to use the players that you have at hand. And the only thing that you expect is for them to be in the best conditions, both mentally and physically, in order to play that game. And in the end, that's what we need to do. It's useless to miss some of our players or for them to some, to miss some of their players because they're gonna, not, not going to contribute if they're not there. So we need to be strong with the, with the squad that we have. We need to be brave and we need to try and win. We've been talking a lot about a final, but also about the feeling of improvisation, about the uh, how the finishing of that squad, of the Sevilla squad, with the problems you have in defence. Could could it could the idea of the club change uh, regarding the possibility of signing Sergio Ramos? And secondly, you've always said that you're very happy about the Sevilla squad, but are you convinced that the uh, squad is going to be better than last year? You know, with the with the movements that have been made uh, from uh, from the uh, from the offices. Yes, this changes very much from one day to the other. A couple of days ago, we were really relaxed. From the two days onwards, you know, it seems we 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 expect some movements. <laughs> Until the 1st of September, we don't know what's going to happen. Only, the only thing that I said is that I've got what I've got, you know. I, I'd like to keep what I have. And I don't know if it will be possible or not. And But if they're touching our players from one team or from other team, and, uh, and uh, I don't know if... And if that happens, then you have to take it. You can have to grin and bear it, and and make the most of the players you have, of the means you have, and that's it. We cannot really uh, uh, say anything in that respect until the first of September. We can finally say, okay, well, this is it. This is what we have, and we have to play with these players for the rest of the season. You know, uh, the bad thing is we will be playing like four games before the first of September, and they also count for 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 the seasons. You know, you know, and that's the bad thing about how the competition is organized. But we know this is what it is, and we have to take it, and and we have to go with the flow. You know, it's not about a particular name. It's it's a we're talking about a position. It is true that some of our players, uh, two of our players, are injured in that position in defence. 
they, they, they should have been important for the team. And we don't know in, how injuries are going to be, affect us or not, how, how their injuries are going to be, if they're going to be long duration or not. But we will wait for the, our doctor's advice and we'll think about what we do and think about signing a player or not, if we need a player in that position or not. But like I said before, if Bono leaves, like he, you said before, maybe another player will have to come. You know, we cannot really, you know, uh, stay, we'll, um, keep just what we have. And if Marco leaves, we will have to sign another player. It is what it is. There's no two players around it. Yeah. I wanted to ask you a double question. To what extent would you be affected by the fact that Fernando is out of the out of the squad last minute? Yes, it's a good thing that you mentioned something that is missing from our squad. And also, uh, UEFA, when they saw you had to play Juventus and Man United at the, during the, at the UEFA Cup, at UEFA Europa League, and some people were saying, were doubting Sevilla or, the, you know, maybe coming here as the underdogs could benefit Sevilla? Could it be a benefit for Sevilla tomorrow? I don't know if it could benefit us or not, but the responsibility... Is not with them exactly. The responsibility can, uh, sits with both teams. There are different ways of having that responsibility. You know, it's obvious who the favourites are. I imagine in betting houses, uh, they, you know, they will know who the favourites are. That you know, you like numbers, statistics so much, so you only need to to look at that those facts. But it's one game. It's ninety minutes. Anything can happen. And like I said before, a week ago or something like that, they lost the the you know the the, the the English Super Cup against Arsenal. So maybe they could lose this one as well. Obviously, they are favourites, but we are not going to go out there to see what happens. But we are going out there to try and win the game. Well, as for Fernando Regis, well. <clears throat> He's, uh, he's, not un he's unwell. He couldn't travel. We are checking him to see if he could travel at the, tonight and see how he's feeling tomorrow. Well, it will be you know normal if he couldn't play, even if he travels. We will see how he feels and what the doctors that are there with him say. And obviously, of course, what he says. Do you have... Plays uh, any ways? Can you see any ways to hurt Man United? Uh, sorry, Man City. Uh, they, you just said that they lost the title recently. Do you think they could be? Do you think they are vulnerable, or they can be vulnerable? Well, no. There's not a question about that. It, it, again, could be decided with little details. Something that happens at a given moment along the ninety minutes. And sometimes, you know, you can win or lose in those 90 minutes. And in some other games, you can do something in one particular time and you can win the game in that particular time. In handball and basketball, you know, uh, there are many, many points are scored, but football games are normally decided by a small margin. So let's say it's easier to try and win, uh, to, to and try and face such a powerful rival in only just one game, you know, uh, they could not, maybe they're not playing their best game and we are playing our best game. So anything can happen. Thank you very much.